What is up guys, uh, welcome back to episode, I think this is episode 3 of let's build a server map, or let's build a server, and our last episode we finished off with kind of, um, variationing, I guess you can say for a word, uh, the terrain to make it less flat, and as you can see, I've already kind of went way ahead here, I've built these two buildings, um, hot air balloons and these two big trees from there and there and one second sorry about that but i also added some more trees and these things but see these buildings and these trees actually took kind of a bit of time so what i am going to do is i'm just going to show you instead of because these this would have all probably took like two probably two or three episodes because i was working very slowly but basically we have this house here. I did not put a roof on it. I kind of kept it open. Just put a fence up here. On the inside there's not really much in here. I mean it's PvP so you need kind of some space. And there's not really any point to these buildings. Just uh, something to kind of do. So I'll just kind of do a fly around. A slow fly, fly around. <laughs> like so. And... I did use a little bit of word edit on this, and I'm going to tell you how I built this tree. I'm actually going to use this one. As you can see, the trunk kind of twirls around. What I did was I got a shovel or any other tool, not except for a wooden axe. I'll just use this. I did brush sphere. Um, I think the wood is 15, 1, and then 4. And then I just kind of like went up in a... Oh, nope, that's iron, but... I kind of just like um, went in kind of like a circle formation all the way up and then I just kind of covered the top with some packed ice same thing over here um, I made kind of this uh, balloon pad here with a hot air balloon just something to add to the map to make it look a little less plain and I added one in the air right here over there and over there all different colors um we'll come look at this house over here uh we have i'll just kind of show you about it the inside is very small it's a high building but the in in the inside is very small Again, not really much point to it, just for looks. And I'll do a fly around of this too. So if you guys want to build it, you can see it. You can just kind of pause it and look at the dimensions or whatever. And we'll just fly around this, like so. The front is just a copy of the back, or the back is just a copy of the front. And these edges are the side, or the same and stuff. I had this little floating island up here, not really a point to this, but I put a little tree on it and some water coming down. It's like a water source for this little pond, and it just flows off over here. Oh, uh, what else did I do? Mm, I did a little bit more with the train, added a few more trees, and it is coming together. I just kind of used these little lights and followed the path all the way around. I didn't put any over there or anything, but possibly we could add like maybe a little house right here. This area is a little plain, but um, today what we're going to do is we're going to work on a warp. We're going to do a warp 1v1. It's going to be made for a... Uh, 1v1s so what we're gonna do we're at z about zero zero right now we're gonna go to hmm, let's do slash warp uh let's go to 5000 or no no we have to do slash tp your name whatever chord we're gonna do 5000 let's do uh 150 and then 5000 again so here we are, we're going to do pause one, pause two, and then slash said dirt, just so we have a block to work with. And that looks about good. I'm going to make sure that clouds are not going to get in the way of this. And it looks like we're going to be okay. So we'll go ahead and turn those off. We'll go down one block just so it's... At uh, level 150, doesn't really serve a purpose, but uh, why not? 
so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use what kind of glass we should use let's go with uh, let's go with kind of a dark blue we can try that um, let's use that to place it uh, we will kind of go like so make kind of like a little spawning pad for the people like this so this is a one two three four five seven by seven square and then we can um build up the walls how are we going to do this let's use Mm. Let's use some red glass. We're gonna go around one more time. So, um, except for this edge right there, because that's gonna be the edge that the players jump off of. But we're gonna place glass all the way around, like so. Uh, forget that edge, and... Boom. So we'll go up like uh, three blocks. Boom. Let's go ahead and finish this up. I'm getting some lag spikes actually. I'm not sure why. And there we go. So now what we want to do, we'll go up. Uh, actually, that's fine. Now what we're going to do is we are going to... We are going to, I mean, we we should probably make this blue so it all looks the same, but we're going to take this down three blocks all the way across, set the time to day so we can see, and uh, then what we want to do is let's go with a red floor, I guess. You can go with red. And kind of like, actually what we'll do is we will use this glass to set a base. And what I'm thinking we can do. Hmm. Uh, what we can do is let's make this kind of a circular area. Um, we can start right here. If this is on level 40, 140, we got to go to 147. And then we will go out to 54. Actually, we will go to 64. So that's 60 blocks. And what we're going to do is we're going to go slash slash sill. Actually, let's see what this block ID is. It's 9514, so we'll go slash slash sill 9514 and then 60. Let's go ahead and do this because this actually could lag out the server. What is the ID again? 9514. And let's hope this does not. Oh, nope. I guess it's not. But that should turn into a cylinder of some sort. It's actually a pretty big cylinder. But um, that should be more than big enough. And uh, I think it looks good. So now what we want to do is it's actually one block too high. So that's an easy fix. We can just... Uh, what we can do is we can just um, raise all this up one block. And I'm not even going to bother to use world edit. We'll just go like so. And I actually did set a timer. We're going to go to about 20, maybe 25 minutes for this episode. And it's late at night, so I kind of got to talk a little quiet. But... Um, three blocks is how high we have to go. Let's break this here because it's not needed. I don't really know why I put it there so much, but... 
So we're going to go up all the way around. And this will be good anyways because we want all of this to be too thick. It helps with um, players falling through the world on a server. Which is normally caused by server lag. So I like to make like all of my uh, things too thick. I'll make that too thick out there too. And now what we want to do is it should be 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to bring this up to 3 all the way around so players can't jump off. And let's get that done. And let's now what we can do is what we're gonna do actually is um we're gonna go to the middle of this circle which might be a little hard to find but we're gonna go ahead and do that so this is the middle here I'm gonna place that there just so I can remember now we gotta find the middle of this side which is gonna be around this area somewhere let's just um we can use the wand to find the center like so we do slash center Let's just do dirt. It looks like it's right there. So we'll build that up. And we'll go straight to the middle. And it looks like these are going to meet up about right there. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to make this, um, this big cylinder here. We're going to make it too thick. So what I mentioned earlier doesn't happen. They don't like fall through the ground or whatever. But we're going to go down to 145 and put that command in. Hopefully it doesn't lag out the server and it looks like we are good. It actually went one block too low so we'll come up to here. Hopefully that does it and yes that did do it. So now the whole thing is too thick. We're going to make sure all that loaded in and it looks like it did. Now, what we want to do is we are going to make a border so players can't jump off the side. And let me check what time we are at. Looks like we're at about 13 minutes. So, we're going to go to the middle, which I shouldn't have blocked. We're going to have to find that again, which is always a pain. Sorry about the uh, Skype messages. One second. Slash alerts off. Okay. Sorry about that. If you didn't know, in Skype you can do slash alerts off in the chat. And it will turn all the messages off. It's, um, or the message alerts off, which is uh, pretty nice to use. So we're at the middle here. What we're going to do is we're going to do slash... I gotta remember the command. Let's see what the ID for that. 9511. So we'll do slash H sill for hollow cylinder. Then 9511. And then let's try 61. Since the, or the cylinder for where people are going to be is 60. We want the wall to be at 61. And then we're going to make it 5 high. Let's see how that does us. And it looks like it worked out pretty good. What well, I mean, this is a simple fix. We just go all the way around and uh, fill in these little holes here. Like so. I'm not going to bother to even make them too high. Actually, yeah, I'll make them too high. Why not? Uh, but I might not be able to find the other ones right there. And um, I'll tell you what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way around with uh, filling in these little holes and I will be right back. And I'm back guys. Uh, we finished up this um, little out thing, out 
area thing where um where these little holes were in the side like this. Um, it didn't take too long to fix. It only took maybe like three minutes or so. But we are gonna remove this so the players can get through. And it looks pretty decent. My keyboard's glitching out a little bit, so give me one second. Um, it's a good thing night's coming because we are going to do something. Um, let's find the center of this here. Sorry about my keyboard. It's um spazzing out a little bit. But it looks like this is the center here, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some glowstone and plop it down right there to supply a little bit of light. And what we're going to do is we are going to... Oh, let's see here. How can we do this? That block there looks like it's about right there. So we'll go like this. We'll come out here and we will do slash pause one. Then we'll just use speed 10 to get around to the other side. And we'll do slash slash pause. Oh, I did it again. So we'll go to the other side now. <laughs> And we'll do slash slash pause too. Now we'll turn that speed off. And what we're going to do is since it's pretty dark here. We're going to um, take the ID of this red glass. And we're going to do slash slash replace 9514 with glowstone. Or no, no no actually what we're going to do is to randomize it we're gonna do slash if my keyboard would stop glitching out we're gonna do slash set um let's try 99 percent 95 14 comma and then one percent glowstone or actually that might be a problem because um what it's going to do actually is um, it'll make all this out here that as well. So what we're going to do is we'll go across from here and then we'll just uh, go across over here and make this position number two. And then we'll do slash a set 99% uh, I think the ID is 9514 and comma 1% glowstone. And that should do it like that, which gives you a little bit of light. And um, we'll do the same for this. And we'll make this position number two. And the same there. Now that adds a little bit of light to 1v1. I mean the rest I can do manually. It won't be too incredibly hard. I mean we could just come under here and place it randomly all over the place. Like so. This doesn't really matter where you place it at all. As long as it lights up the area. So um, that should be enough. We maybe put one right. Oh, let's put two right there. Actually, no, we'll just put one. And that looks like it lit up this area pretty well from what I can see. We'll go ahead and do this corner over here, too. Like I said, this is all random. Uh, just kind of placing it all over the place. And it looks pretty cool from up top too. So uh let's pull one maybe right there. And then that should be good for this corner. Looks like it. We'll do the same for these two. Start maybe right here. And I'm um, trying not to go in any pattern at all. I'm trying to 
kind of just place it all over the place. And let's try one right there. And that looks about good for that area. And as you can see, it looks completely random. And we'll go ahead and do this right here too. And I don't know if this is an updating or what. That looks like what the problem was. Because for some reason it wasn't lighting it up. But we'll come over here and do this too. Like this. And we'll come to the middle here. Put down some, uh, some glowstone. And let's try right there. And then that should do it for this whole area. And it uh, looks pretty cool, in my opinion. And um, that is probably going to be it for this episode. Um, next episode, we will probably work on maybe a little mini game for this, for this um, server. Which could be pretty cool. Maybe like a last man standing or like a death race or something like that. But, um, you know, you could put some signs right in here. If I can find them. You could put some signs right here since this is 1v1. You could maybe put like war or you could put like no free for all. And you could do that like an all bold. If you want to do all bold, it's like NL or something like that. No free for all. You know, you get the point. Let's just pretend. Uh, I don't think I have the bold signs turned on right now, but let's look at it in day and then we will end it. Uh, looks pretty decent. I think it'll be big enough for a warp 1v1. Looks pretty nice. But um, until next episode. Um, that is going to be it, and, um, I'm excited to work on the mini game, I guess you can call it, like the little game mode that we can use f for, uh, this map, but, um, I'll see you guys next episode.